What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Y'all, we about to get into Monique and her son and her husband, which is her daddy. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to do a little more research and probably listen to that portion of the interview to understand this daddy thing. Or y'all can break it down in the comments. But uh, I know I had a bit of confusion with it, and that's my fault. Um, we about to get into it, and then we're going to get into her son's response. All right, let's get it. All right, we're going to wait for some of the babies to come in the room. I ain't going to lie, the babies is starting to get on my nerves. That's 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 kind of starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> you would do that right now. Hey, babies. She hey, said hey. she had a mind of just wait for a 15-year-old until she met her So husband. we can have this conversation with our community. Mm, 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 mm. What is that? Oh, we could. Let's rock and roll, baby. Let's rock and roll. Mm -hmm. The title of our conversation or the theme of it is called The Long Way Around Cause Ain't No Shortcuts. Pickles, stop playing with that paper, please. The reason we're having it. Is yeah, the position of the cameras. The reasons, but <laughs> Why do we have the whole with, roof? <laughs> there was a Instagram that was put up, or I guess. It was TikTok, baby. TikTok that was put up by. My son. My oldest son, Shalon. And this is what I want to say. Nigga going to say bye. You can't say her son? <laughs> to this. There are some people that are saying, oh, you should be ashamed of your mothering skills. You should be ashamed of yourself. This is what I'll say. Let's let it play out. Because the same ones that said to me, I was crazy, I was deranged, we watched it play out. So just like with my son, we'll watch this play out. And I, I do want to address this though, Shalon. When you say her daddy, her daddy, and that's when mommy gonna say stop playing because you know this has been Uncle Sid your whole life. Uncle Sid knew you before you knew you. So for you to say her three sons, yes, you're absolutely right. He has three sons. He can't claim you as his son because he's always been Uncle Sid and he knows your daddy very well. And love that brother. And What the f***? <laughs> this is already going wrong for me. First of all, what? So he was a nephew? <laughs> so the sons weren't brothers? Mind y'all, I am, I, I've grown up on blended family. So I grew up on blended families. I have a blended family. Okay. Never would I have a child and my child call the, the man of the house uncle. Now, my brothers and sisters did not call my daddy daddy, but they call him Big Papa. But uncle ain't it. And Big Papa is a reference to this the man of the house, this pops. I'm just not going to call him daddy. You know what I'm saying? I see the discrepancy in that because it is one. We can't act like it ain't, especially with boys. But Uncle Sid is crazy. Okay. The irony of all of this is not what is said, but what's left off. Yes. See, you're, you're leaving off the fact that the last time we laid eyes on you, your mother got you everything you needed for the newborn baby about three years ago. You're forgetting about how I from Georgia am talking you through getting your car after we gave you the half the down payment for it. And you were 31 years of age, 32 years of age at that point. And I'm negotiating the deal with the dealer for you as you sit there. And you have the vehicle you're driving right now because of your mother. You know what sucks about parenting and like, and please don't come for me. I have two of them that I blend 
and take care of as well, okay? They may not have come out of me, but baby, I'm, I take care of them, okay? I have to get that out the way because y'all that be in the comments like, mm, you ain't have kids. Oh, I do. It's a responsibility when you up under me, okay? So with that being said, when you don't hear what the kid is saying, it sucks. He already said that y'all offer money. That was the biggest portion of the conversation. We know that you can give a dollar. But can you give some love? <laughs> These are the things that you're leaving out when you're expressing what yeah. you're expressing in reference to your mother. You're not expressing the relationship that you have with your father where you spoke ill to him not to mention spoke ill to your mother then how you throw my daddy in the situation he ain't even got nothing to do with this <laughs> but somehow your mother and father and i all have a loving relationship and communicate back and forth because of the love that we have for you the one thing these individuals and to the individuals out here that oftentimes speak after they've heard one side of the story, there's an old saying, believe half of what you see and none of what it is that you hear. Please don't take our word for it, but what we will convey is this. Those who are parents and have raised their parents up to being adults. The children. Raise their children up to being adults. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> Those who are parents that raise their children into adulthood know that there comes a time and you wasn't even raising your and, and not even count him as yours he was your nephew in a blended family and you had your sons i see it they was over there treating his sons uh like they belonged and not her son guarantee that's why he would have had to call him uncle. Can you imagine the rest of them saying daddy? I could see if something else was said, if he was a, a different name, but not uncle. That just gives off nephew. That gives, these are my sons, you are my nephew. Am I tripping? It's given he never claimed him to be one of his sons. He clearly isn't claiming him to be his son. It don't matter if that was before they got together or not. That's what he's referencing to now. So it seems as though that's what that is. That's what the what? <laughs> A place in which they determine their own decision. They might have called my daddy Big Papa, but he introduced them as his children. These are my children. All of them. Are my children. <laughs> Not, I can see it now. These are my three sons, A, B, and C, and D. That's my nephew. Like, he's supposed to be like, <laughs> you know, only one. <laughs> and you know, since that's her daddy, she went right along with it. <laughs> These are my three sons, and that's nephew. Like, I already see, hear, and feel the neglect in the air. <laughs> My God. Their own path. You can have multiple <sighs> children that multiple children that are raised in one house, but they act and they take on different things. The reason why it was so important for us to entertain these conversations that we typically have privately or that we're influenced to have privately amongst the people in our community is because we need to stop being embarrassed about being human beings and about being black human beings. I can't believe she just let him take over the rest of the conversation like that. Didn't address him at all. I'm almost done with this video. Oftentimes here are saying we are embarrassing ourselves in front of them. Who is them? Who are they? Because when you hear someone articulate these things, that is the slaves. Nick, can you ask Uncle Daddy why he even talking? Hell, uh, Uncle Daddy, why are you need talking? To conduct ourselves with dignity. I asked him, Kim. He ain't say nothing yet. You should conduct yourself with dignity because the spirit of you is watching. Come on. But we need to have these conversations out loud and taboo 
because we have a finite period of time together here on this earth. You will travel through infinity with the spirit that you have all alone and you will not remember the ridicule that you receive, but you will be. Listen here, dictionary. I understand that you are very educated and you can speak fluently and things like that. But that, but that boy didn't ask you to be a dictionary, nor did he ask you to be um, anything other than uh, matter of fact, excuse me. He wasn't even talking to you. <laughs> he was talking to his mother, his mother. Why are we listening to this, man? I mean, I'm doing it because, you know, clearly I have to put it out because that's on my docket today. But I'm just saying, like, <clears throat> okay. Judging yourself. You will be t determining Uncle Sid for the great. rest of your life which way that you go as you have thus far. So this conversation is about speaking directly to what situations are. And many people oftentimes, right, uh, when quiet they are, storm, uh, I swear, presented with an issue, they stay. He sound educated as hell, but I don't hear anything coming from his mouth. And honestly, it's because he didn't. First of all, once again, he wasn't talking to you. Number one, so I don't even know why you're speaking. For one, you're not my daddy. For two, you're not my stepdaddy. For three, you are my uncle. Stay in an uncle's place. You know what I'm saying? Stay in uncle's place, baby, because you don't belong here in this conversation right now. It's not needed, not wanted, don't want it, okay? Quiet. They hide. They disappear. And what we're okay. saying is that's not who we are because what you cannot do is you cannot trick an honest person. Come on. You can demean, you can say whatever you want to say about them negatively, but what will happen Where is, is truth has a way of standing the test of time. I, I, I forgot to have my, my phone to read the last text message that I gave to you, Shalom, where I told you about the understanding of how you are speaking to a woman and how you as a man and how you perceive things may be completely different from how your wife, how your mother, how your sister, how your daughter will look at things. And when you learn how to communicate a little bit better, then things will happen a little bit better. What happened? Oh. You young man, because... Okay. One thing about how people feel, you can't tell them how to feel or you can't tell them how to uh, communicate. And it sounded like to me that's what he already was trying to do. They can't even hear him say anything because they're too busy trying to tell him how to say what it is that he's feeling. They're not trying to feel what he's feeling. Yeah, I didn't just know this feeling too well, so I'm going to be able to speak through this fluently. Okay. And I'm, I'm biased to the situation, to be honest with you. I am not on their side at all. So <laughs> I just want to put that out there. Challenges that this young brother has had with mental illness. So... We're communicating. That's another thing. As fluent as he's speaking, this one, Uncle Sid, as fluent as he's speaking, speaking, that was just as fluent as Shalom. Why would you say I have a mental health issue? Are you serious? So for me to feel, for me to feel, I got to be mentally ill for me to feel. Come. Getting that out loud to speak to our community to say, listen, y'all, if we have more public conversations, there will be less private angst. Come on. There will be less private issues that we carry on because we're afraid to communicate in front of white folks. So, oh, so you come and tell these white people that you're. Nephew has a mental illness. And that was that was a way of like saying it. That was that was that was saying something. <laughs> Bro, get the f <laughs> uh. 
I'm, I'm kind of getting pissed off. We get to a place where you want to be free, you will stop being scared to say what's real. You and instead of them, you know what, I'm done with this. Instead of them even speaking on, like they trying to tell us something to help us when they're not helping they own. I'm going to end this, y'all. Uh, like I said, coming from uh, blended family and creating my own blended family, I wouldn't have been able to create my own blended family, for one, had I not grew up that way. You know what I'm saying? All my cousins is cousins. All my brothers is brothers. And all my sisters are sisters. I never step nobody. Ain't no step nothing. Okay? And damn, they can't even step brother or sister. He's off. Nephew. So I already know he was not treated correctly at all. At all was he treated correctly, and it shows. He instantly spews out that he has a mental health issue because he is able to express himself in a way that they clearly don't like. He wasn't irate. He didn't, he didn't sound manic. He said, yeah, you know, I don't plan on having any type of relationship with my mother and her daddy, which that's what you are. She can't even speak up for herself. This is why Tyler Perry don't want... Now I understand. <laughs> if I was Tyler Perry, I wouldn't want to talk to him either. Girl, I'm done. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I Yes, I am completely biased to this situation. You know, as we grow up, things happen. You know what I'm saying? You feel a certain way, and it is what it is. But uh, this right here, I'm only saying I'm biased because I know how her, her son is feeling. That's crazy. I'm absolutely not on their side. I absolutely don't understand where they're coming from, and I clearly don't want to understand either. Like, I... You know what I will say? If their son, excuse me, because that's not his son. If her son was speak, speaking to her in an ill manner, I would try to figure out why. Why are you speaking to me in an ill manner? And clearly, I would have to check myself as a the mother I've been to you. And clearly, um, we go from children to adults now. I'm not that little baby I used to be, lady. This has given me some mental trauma. If anything, I'm mentally traumatized by the way, I was treated in that household. If he wanted to talk about mental, that's what he should have said. But he can't speak at all because you're my uncle. Why are you talking to me? Anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comments, comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.